Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Madden Mobile video on my channel. In today's video, guys, I'm doing a guide on some of the best plays in Madden Mobile 22. Some of the best plays for Madden Mobile 21, the ones that worked very, very well, were removed and were left with a bunch of plays that you probably haven't used before. So today in this video, I'm going to be going over my favorite plays that I've used so far this year. I had a little bit of help from MM20 Gaming, who used to make YouTube videos and is pretty present in the uh, community, so really appreciate it, MM20, for all your help on this. Uh, all the clips and everything I recorded in my own gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you learned something from this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos 70% of you guys aren't subscribed so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already let's try to get this video to 100 likes and link will be in the description if you'd like to join my discord hey guys if you're thinking about going to an nfl game or any other sporting event this season SeatGeek is the app for you Available on your phone or computer, SeatGeek is the easiest way to buy tickets for any event, sporting events, or concerts. SeatGeek compiles tickets from all over the web into one spot so you always find the cheapest tickets. Each seat has a deal score rating the price for that ticket, and it also shows you a preview of what your seat will look like. If you're going to a game, check out SeatGeek and use my code TheGooseTV for $20 off your first purchase of $50 or more, and let's get back to the video. So, real quick, I'm going to go into leagues, and I'm just going to start an intra-league match and just kind of show you what I'm looking for in certain plays, and I'm going to show you generally what works, and then I'm going to show you a couple plays, and for the most part, what they're, just a bunch of highlights and how they work and how I run them. So, uh, first of all, there's a couple things you need to know, um, is that, first of all, kick returns are really really good if you have the higher power team you are going to be able to get a kick return touchdown very very often uh i'm not i okay well you'll see a couple in this video there's an example there so a lot of the routes that are working quite a lot this year are going to be just corner routes or routes where i don't even know how to describe them i'm i will say i'm not the best gameplay guy i'm i never upload any gameplay on my channel i'm not generally good at gameplay but these are still some of the plays that i use that help me out to win at least some games like i said i'm not the full expert i wish there was someone in the community you know still around if you guys remember if you remember chf he did a lot of this kind of stuff um but you know there's really not a lot of people that are uploading this kind of stuff right now so I thought I'd make a video at least what I have and the knowledge that I do have so um like I said a lot of the out routes is kind of what you're looking for any sort of corner route so the routes that are going to be really good shakes slot flags I'm going to be showing a lot of tight end posts I don't know if this works for everybody but it's been working quite a lot for me you'll see wide receiver sluggo wide receiver corners any of these so for example let's run wide receiver sluggo I'm looking for that gronk route up uh he's going to go up and then he's going to kind of curl to the right Right there in man or in zone coverage, it's going to be open a, a very high percentage time. So a lot of those kind of plays, we go short pass. You'll see a couple of those F trail the route there. Um, you, one play that I will show is tight end out. That works a little bit differently. Uh, wide receiver drag. I could probably do the same thing and throw it at Gronk again. Let's see if he gets open, which he will. Uh, kind of. Yep, he got out front. I'm going to play someone in my league who has very low overall compared to me. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just throw hail mary. All right, this guy is about a 2200 power. I'm 2600. I'm gonna use Thielen and Jamar Chase, and what I'm gonna do is just throw it downfield. Now, Chase is wide open down the field. Thielen is not as open. It's gonna work the same thing. So, if you are a higher overall team than your opponent by a good margin, literally either getting kick returns or Hail Marys are going to work so much and probably almost every single time for me right now i'm just using fb dive fallback dive for a two-point conversion some people are probably using other plays it doesn't work every single time but for the most part it's working quite a bit for me all right let's start with some gameplay clips we're going to start with kick returns this one this first one was lucky and i will say most of the opponents i've played in the rest of these clips are like 27 2800 overall when i was 2600 so i was playing kind of behind a little bit but for example i have andy isabella he's level 15 he's a he's a uncommon but like i said i leveled him up so he's a lot better breaks the tackle there uh get through i don't know how i got through but i'm telling you kick returns are really really good even if you're at a higher power or a lower overall compared to your other uh, opponent Here's another example of this, uh, just going around the edge of that player, and I was able to house this as well. Got a few blocks. Kick returns are super, super useful right now. Now, one of the best plays in the game right now is PA draw pass. It's a PA pass, and basically what you're looking for is the route that's going to be crossing in front. 
I use this in a couple different ways, and you can use it in a couple different ways. I do not roll out in the opposite way, but you totally can do that in certain situations. Like I said, for the most part, I'm looking for that A route, that route that's going to be crossing in front. He usually gets open, depending on the uh, coverage, it'll work a little bit differently. You'll see here what's going to happen is that's going to be wide open. I'm going to have wide open field. Myers is going to have the entire field to work with. It's going to be wide open. Another example of this, let's see what happens here. Uh, I roll out there and then I wait for A to keep going. I wait to pull the corner back down to wait for A to open up and when he does I throw him the pass. I've got blockers ahead. I'm able to get a ton of yards. Another example of this going on is uh, the same kind of thing. I threw that too early, but it still ended up working. If I waited any longer, I would have had more yardage and I would have been able to get more than a first down. The next play, let's see what happens here. Fake the handoff once again. I'm waiting, I'm pulling that player down. I'm passing it off to that A route, maybe a little bit of a juke, and we get a good kind of, we get good yardage there. Same kind of thing here, rolling out, looking for the A route. It's man-to-man -man coverage, but he's still beating his man, so I'm able to toss it off to him. Uh, fourth and two situation here, I'm using it. I did not mean to pass to this player here. Um, unfortunately, it worked for me. Uh, like I said, that's a little bit lucky. That was one situation where I probably could have rolled out right and had it, but it ended up working out in my favor. Now the play that has been working almost every single time and like my best play so far is tight end post. Now I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. Maybe it's just me and maybe when the teams do get better, this won't work as well. But I have so many clips here of using tight end post. I use two of them per, you know, per arena game or, you know, or three, uh, two per, you know, league versus league. So basically there's going to be three main routes. There's going to be that X route, the A route, and that, uh, I forget what other route that is i don't know if that's considered it's considered b so the a route is the tight end he's going to go straight and then he's going to cut left up the field kind of in the middle x and b are going to fake in and go right back out depending on the coverage if it's man to man you can throw it right after that cornerback cuts or gets kind of juked out by that cut or if it's uh zone coverage then you're going to just going to have a wide open route to one of those players on the edge so here's the first example i usually don't run it flipped but this was an example of running flipped i always roll out when i'm doing this you will see x just completely beats his man there but i ran the ball this is a situation where you can make a choice on what you really want to do once again, you fake out, you, you roll out, and then you can kind of decide what you want to do. I can a lot, run it a lot of the times. You'll see examples in this where I run the ball. You'll see examples where I just throw it to the corner. He beats the corner, and then he just gets down out of bounds. More examples. I have so many examples of this play. You will see X beats his man, but I ran instead, and I accidentally slid. Another example here. Uh, rolling out once again and B is going to be wide open for the toe tap and the out of bounds play tons of yards there is another example of me rolling out and I waited for X who beat his man Jamar Chase got a ton of yards there another tight end post uh, rolling out here another route to B he fakes that inside goes right back outside and gets plenty of yards Moving on to the next tight end post, like I said, I use this quite a bit. Um, once again, was able to throw it to A. That was lucky, probably should have been picked, but it ended up working. More examples. Uh, this is an example of when I probably should not have passed it to A once again. It ended up working in my favor, but that probably could have thrown it a little bit earlier as the kind of the linebackers jumped up a little bit couple more examples of tight end post here you will see rolling out this is a great example of me running the ball I had so much room I was able to get a ton of yards off just running the ball here I'm rolling out again I'm waiting for X to get open I'll throw it to him he does not make the catch Moving on, next, we've got the same kind of thing. This is an example where I probably could have rolled out, and I did. I just did it a little bit late. Probably could have got more yards if I didn't. Rolling out once again, same thing. I'm rolling out almost every single time. I'm throwing it to X, and this is an insane catch by Jamar Chase. That should not have been caught. A uh, couple more times here. Uh, this is another example of me running the ball, getting tons of yards because I've got wide open field. And then the final example of me using tight end post here is going to be me rolling out once again and then throwing it to X, who's going to be wide open, Jamar Chase, who's going to get plenty of yards, almost a touchdown. The one running play that I am going to show you is halfback toss. If you have, uh, you know, a higher overall, this is going to work a lot of the time. Blocking is really good on this play. Tossing it outside, you will see an example where I was able to beat around the corner there and then just get the first down. Now, my blocker just completely missed his block, so I was I lost a few yards on there, but then I had to make him back up. But there are other examples where this is going to work a lot better. Here's a little bit more blocking. Uh, my player didn't hold the block as well as I'd like him to. And then this is a couple examples 
of scoring or doing really, really well with this play. You will see tons of blockers running around the edge. You got Raheem Mostert, who's pretty fast, breaks the tackle, is able to go in for the touchdown. And then finally, we got one more here where I uh, passed the Mostert, tossed to the Mostert, and I'm getting tons of blocks all the way down the field. Uh, I don't think I scored here. Yeah, I was get I got tackled. I tried to make a little bit of a play. Um, now, these are just examples of a couple plays that worked a couple times for me just in a couple arena games. PA Waggle is actually really, really good. There's a lot of these PA passes that are really solid. Um, there's a couple routes that are going different ways. There's A and B going left. X is going right. I also can throw it to RB. I had a couple options here. I got a lucky catch with Myers, but it still worked out pretty well. And then here's another example of me using this play. I've been throwing to X a lot here, as you can see Myers again, but A and B I probably had wide open as well. PA Jet Sweep is sweet too. What happens with this is that wide receiver, that wide out is going to come in and fake the Jet Sweep and that if it's man-to-man -man coverage especially, that's gonna pull that player on the left side of the field off. And then you have three routes going out left. A, B, and R, B. This is another lucky catch by Myers, but I had a couple things open that I don't even think that was what I wanted to pass to. B was wide open, but A worked. I got the yards, it worked there. Here's one more example of this happening. Uh, another Jet Sweep. And then A and B and RB are open. I threw it to B this time, wide open for about 20 yards. Now, this one was shown to me by MM20, tight end out. I haven't run it too much, but basically your tight end is going to go out to the right. You can either pass it to him or you can use him as a blocker. This situation, I threw it to him. He made a stupid play. It didn't really work, but this is an example of me rolling out, uh, the using him as a blocker, which he didn't really block much, but I was able to get a first down just by rushing. PA spot was in the game last year. It's still really, really good this year. You can't flip it because of how good it is, but basically your A route is gonna go out really quickly. This one, what I did is I got, I made sure my player had inside position. If I had the inside position where I was able to throw it without the cornerback being able to make a jump, he was in front of him, I made the play, I got a good amount of yards. Then this is how it's usually run. Score a touchdown on it, A gets open right away. It's usually your tight end and he gets in for the touchdown. PA fake toss is another one that works. It's another one of those either crossing route or corner routes. This is one that I just made a crazy play on. I had nothing and I waited and waited. My blocking was working. I rolled out pretty far. I made it past the linebackers and I waited for somebody to just go up the field and it ended up working. I don't know how it did, but it did. And I've got two more specific plays here. I got slot flags. This is just another uh, route where there's corner routes or out routes kind of to the side, post routes, A, they're wide open for the snag. And then wide receiver sluggo is another example of this. Uh, once again, I roll out quite a bit. You see him wide open Thielen or Gronk there and made a great catch and got a ton of yards. But anyways, guys, that's just about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Goose TV, and I'm out. I will see you guys later.